Evan Nicholson here with Green Thumb Lawn Care. Uh, we just took uh, some measurements here and collected our soil samples. Put this away and keep it out of the rain. We just wanted to do a quick video here, kind of take a look around, see what we're dealing with. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like you have lawn care uh, provided already. Um, just looking for, I guess, a quote on somebody different. So we've just got some regular winter bog leaf weeds here. Nothing, uh, nothing too hard to handle. Um, looks like we've got a little bit of Bermuda in here. I um, have to wait till summer to confirm 100%, but I'm, I'm fairly confident that, that is Bermuda. It's uh, dormant right now. And then we've got a mix of a few other weeds in here. Just some broadleaf stuff. Looks like maybe we had some car tire damage there. That should fill in, hopefully, with the spring. It looks like we've had a little nimble wheel in here. We can take care of that selectively. The Bermuda over here, there's a couple of options. Um, we can use a do a program where it takes a few seasons where we selectively eliminate it, or we can just leave it as is, it's not too bad, or we can eradicate it. We would eradicate it late in the summer, um, leave it for a few weeks just to make sure we've got it, and then reseed with a turf renovator um, next fall. But it's not too bad, so you may just be fine with just leaving it. Um, a little bit here in this corner as well. In the summer it's green and it blends in fairly well, but it is a little off-putting in the winter sometimes. But there's not much of it, so we don't have a big problem. Some more broadleaf weeds in the front here. Um, we have one spot right here that's Poa trivialis. That's a problem grassy weed that comes up in the winter and it's lime green like that. And sometimes when it's real, real thick, it can kind of leave a hole when it goes dormant in the summer. So that may be why it's thin over here beside it. Maybe it was there last year and it's just right there this year. Um, my recommendation for that is I would just shovel that out of there, get rid of it before it spreads. Just shovel that out and maybe drop a, a little piece of sod right there, eliminate that problem. It's, it's not easy to get rid of um, in any other way. <clears throat> just being the time of year that it would need to be hit all right, so then we go here into the front side yard. It looks like you've had some, some seed work spread. I haven't seen any germination um, yet. Looks like it got down a little late in the year. Hopefully it'll come up just fine in the spring and we'll, we can treat it and give it its best chance of survival. As we come over here to the edge of the yard, we just have kind of a mix. Looks like there was some sod earlier in the year, some more seed put down, that's the blue stuff you see there. No germination yet, like I said. Hopefully it'll come up. More broadleaf weeds around this tree, and they're just taking advantage of the grass under here being weak, probably due to the shade of this. So maybe maybe some shade seed there. I don't know, we'll have to see what it looks like when this tree fills out. Um, but we wanna keep that grass under there strong like that so those weeds don't even have an opportunity to, uh, to come in. If you give them the ground, they will take it. So. We try to keep the grass real thick, keep a nice canopy so that these weeds just don't have any room to compete. Looks like we got some more sod there. But overall, looks like the grass is pretty healthy. I mean, it doesn't look so right now. It's kind of yellow, it's got some chlorosis, but that's just due to this winter being so cloudy. We just haven't had much sun. It's been a lot of rain. We just need to uh, get some sun on it. Good micronutrients on it and get it healthy and it'll be good to go so here we have uh looks like i'm not sure if this is going to be considered bed or not or if you want this to be lawn but looks like we got a little bit more poa trivialis in here <clears throat> over here we have some moss um, we have some natural products that we put down to compete with that definitely uh, doesn't eliminate it 100%, but it does stun its growth very well. So uh, we here, I believe this is gonna be, yeah, nimble wheel. This is easy to take care of. We can get that out of here uh, just as soon as it comes up in the summer. It's just dormant right now. Some more of the POA here. You see the, the lime green 
and I would say in the summer you probably don't have any tall fescue right here because it's it's real thick and it's just pushing it out um, but we'll just have to wait till summer to see that's a that's a grass that if it gets if it gets out in the lawn it's a real big problem um, because it's just almost impossible to kill without killing everything around it and the season that it needs to be killed in is the winter because it's only active during the winter and then you end up with a hole no grass there and the seeding window is in the fall so it's kind of a just a trick to try to get rid of <clears throat> some more nimble will there we can take care of it and there and just a few broadleaf weeds a little bit more moss back here in those areas that don't get enough sun the moss likes to grow oh i hear puppy oh i see puppy puppies puppy's big all right so looks like some more somebody's done some work here just trying to fill in some holes trying to get some grass to grow looks like maybe just a mess where the mulch is washed out of the bed i can't quite tell but the back uh overall fairly healthy um the soil back here is is pretty decent um just looks like it gets a lot of traffic probably from puppy um we have a little bit of winter grassy weeds, but it looks like it's confined to this walkway, so it wouldn't be too much of a concern. But either way, customer, you just let us know what you want and we'll make it happen. So the soil, uh, when I was taking core samples, mostly out here in the front, but a little bit everywhere. There's some in the back too. About four inches down, there's thick, hard clay. Even with it wet like this, it's still really hard. Um, and that kind of gives gives the grass some trouble. It's hard for the roots to get down. It's hard hard for the grass to absorb new nutrients that it needs. So we've got a clay soil conditioner that we put down to help amend the soil that, to allow that to become softer and more penetrable by the roots to get a healthier, more drought resistant lawn. Okay, so well, hopefully we'll be able to work together with you and get something worked out. Evan with Green Thumb, signing out.